Let's make a beanie for a six to nine month old baby. They're so cute. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a very basic beanie for a six to nine month old baby. They're super easy and super cute. I can't wait to show you how to make them. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. This pattern was actually created by Repeat Crafter Me. I'll put the website here on the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to pause the video, write that down, go to the website and print off the free pattern. I will also include a direct link to this website in both the description section and the comment section below this video. So all you have to do is click on that link, print off that free pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. Once you have that pattern, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this super cute beanie for a six to nine month old baby. The materials that you're going to need to make your basic six to nine month beanie will include a size four weight worsted medium or Aran sized yarn. I'm gonna use two different colors to show you the main body of the beanie and the border to the beanie, but you can absolutely use just one solid color for the entire beanie, including the body and the border. You'll need a crochet hook size H8 or five millimeters, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, tapestry needle to weave in those ends, a measuring tape or a ruler to cut out the strips so we can make the braids on the ends of each ear flap. And optional is a pom-pom maker. And this pom-pom maker is roughly three inches in diameter. But of course that is completely optional. Once you've gathered up all of your materials, let's head right to actually making your beanie. We begin with a small tail, about an inch and a half, before we create our slip knot. Perfect. The beanie is actually worked in rounds. So there's two different ways that you can begin. The first way is with a magic ring. The second way is with the chain two method. I am particularly fond of the chain two method. If you really like the magic ring, feel free to begin with the magic ring and then I'll show you where we meet up to start working in unison. So I'm gonna start by chaining two, one, two, that chain two does not mean anything other than getting us to round one. For round one, we're going to make 11 double crochets in the very first chain or 11 double crochets inside that magic ring. Remember that chain two does not count as a stitch. One, two, three, four, ten, eleven. Great. To close round one, we're going to look for the very first double crochet stitch. So completely avoiding the chain two, looking for the first double crochet. And we will slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet. To get to round two, we're going to chain two, and that sets us up for round two. For round two, we're going to make two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. You should end round two with 22 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 19, 20. So in that same stitch here, 21, 22, great. Whatever you do, try to make sure that you end round two with 22 double crochets. Skipping over that chain two, finding the very first double crochet, and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. Ready for round three, chain two. 
one, two. For round three, the repeat pattern is going to be two double crochet in the very first stitch and then one double crochet and then two double crochet and then one double crochet. Two double crochets in the same stitch is also known as an increase double crochet. So if you see that abbreviation, that's all that it means. Increase double crochet just means two double crochets in the same stitch. You will end round three with 33 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one. One, two, and then one. One, two, and then one. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, and thirty-three. Great! Slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. This is what we're looking at here. And we're ready for round four. For round four, we're going to chain two, one, two. The pattern for round four will be increase double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. Increase double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. This is also known as two double crochet, one, one. Two double crochet, one, one. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. You will end round four with 44 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one. Great, continue on, I'll meet you at the end. 41, 42, 43, and 44. Great, slip stitch top of the very first double crochet to close round four. And this is what we're looking at, guys. For round five, we will again chain two to get to round five. Round five's repeat pattern is different than what we have been doing so far. Round five's pattern is going to be increased double crochet in the first stitch, and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches, and then repeat. Two double crochet, one double crochet in the next 10 stitches, then two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. You will end round five with 48 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, and then we repeat that pattern. Two double crochet in the same stitch, and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Great, go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. For round six, we will chain two, one, two. 
The pattern for round six will be increased double crochet in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches and then repeat. Increase double crochet and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. You'll repeat this pattern all the way around for round six. You will end round six with 52 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and repeat. Two double crochet, one, two in the same stitch, and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. Two, three, four, 50, 51, and 52. Great, slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet to close off round six, and we are ready for round seven. For round seven through round 12, you're just going to make a chain two, one, two, and then make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Each round, seven through 12, should have 52 double crochets within that round. All right, go ahead and work round seven through round 12, which is just one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round 12 to show you how to do the ear flaps. Great, just finishing round 12 right here. Perfect. Once you have finished round 12, you continue on with the ear flaps. We don't cut anything off. For ear flap number one, we're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So there's one single crochet. And now single crochet in the next nine stitches for a total of 10 single crochets. One, two, three, nine, and 10. Great. Chain one, turn your beanie so that way you are looking towards the inside of your beanie. For row two of our ear flap, we will decrease single crochet the first two stitches together. So insert your crochet hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert your crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops for a decrease single crochet. Make one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease single crochet the last two stitches together. Perfect. Chain one, turn your beanie so you are looking again at the outside of your beanie. For row three of our ear flap, you will make one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. You should end with eight single crochets. One, two, eight. Perfect. Chain one, Turn our beanie so we are again looking towards the inside of our beanie. For row four of our ear flap, you will decrease single crochet the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, 
and then decrease single crochet the last two stitches. So what you will notice if you are working an even row on your ear flap or if you are looking on the inside of your beanie towards your ear flap, you will decrease the first two stitches, single crochet across, and decrease the last two stitches. If you are working an odd number row, or if you are looking at the outside of your beanie, you will just make one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. That's how you will know what you're doing in your row. So I just finished row four. I'm going to chain one, turn my beanie. For row five, because it's an odd number row, or because I'm looking at the outside of my beanie, I know that I'm just going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Perfect, chain one and turn. So for row six, I'm going to decrease the first two single crochets, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then decrease single crochet the last two stitches. Chain one, turn our work. For row seven, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, chain one, turn. For row eight, we're going to decrease single crochet the first two stitches. Oh, and then there's two stitches left, so I'm just going to decrease single crochet the last two stitches. Perfect. Chain one and turn. Now for me, for row nine, I am just going to, even though I'm looking at the outside of the beanie, I'm just going to decrease single crochet to close off this ear flap. What that will do is it'll make a more rounded ear flap. If I were to just do one single crochet, one single crochet, like a normal row on the outside of the beanie, chain one, and turn, then row 10 being a decrease, that will make my ear flap pointed, more pointy. I like my ear flap more rounded. So if you wanna to go to row 10, make it pointy, go for it. For me, I'm gonna back up to row nine, and even though I'm looking at the outside of the beanie, for row nine, I'm going to decrease single crochet and it makes it more rounded. Grabbing my scissors, cutting my yarn, small tail, because we're gonna crochet over it or weave it in. Yarn over, pull through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and ear flap number one is done. For ear flap number two, first thing I do is I look for the join. Where's the join? I want the join towards the back of the beanie. I don't want the join towards the front of the, of the beanie where it's super obvious. You want the front part of this line, if you push your beanie flat, you want the front part of this line to be longer than the back part of this line. This is where your forehead will be and your eyes, your nose. This is the back of your head. So you want this side to be a lot longer than this side. And then here's my join, and I want my join to be towards the back of the beanie. Once you see that you're happy with where your ear flap would be, pinching both sides together, flip it, and this will help you to identify where you will attach your yarn to make ear flap number two. For ear flap number two, start with a sh small enough tail. I'm going to just crochet over it so it doesn't need to be long enough to weave in any ends. Creating my slip knot, attaching my crochet hook. So I see, okay, so here's my beanie. Where does this line up? Lines up with this crochet stitch right here. All right, perfect. To attach my yarn, I'm gonna slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Pull all the way through the loop that's already on my hook, leaving me with just one loop on my crochet hook. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that I just slip stitched into. That is my very first single crochet. 
And now I'm ready to make 10 single crochets across from my bottom row. So that's one, two, three, nine, 10. Perfect. Chain one, turning our work. Now, just like we did with the first ear flap, if we are looking on the inside of the beanie or if it is an even number row, we will decrease single crochet the first two stitches, one single crochet in each stitch across, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease single crochet the last two stitches. Perfect. All right, I'm going to let you finish the second ear flap to the point where I will meet you at that point. If you are unsure what to do on each row, just refer back to the first ear flap. They're done the exact same way. All right, and I will meet you when we are all finished with ear flap number two. Oh my gosh, I just finished my second ear flap and I <laughs> had just enough yarn to make this beanie. I was starting to get really nervous there for a second. So when you finish your second ear flap, just cut your yarn, yarn over, pull through that loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and we are done with the main body of the beanie and we're ready to move on to the border. Grab color number two, or you can make the border the same color as the body. Looking at your beanie, you see the wide part and the narrow part. I'm going to squish my beanie so it's flat. I want the narrow part of the beanie facing up, grabbing the color that you're going to use for the border. Let's make a long enough tail so that way we can weave in our ends. Create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook, and we are ready to go. So I put my crochet hook into the stitch right where the ear flap here meets with the main body of the beanie, right in that little nook, that little corner. I will yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through for a slip stitch, leaving me with just one loop on my crochet hook. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch I just slip stitched into. And now you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around the entire beanie. Let me go ahead and single crochet up to the next ear flap and I'll meet you at this next ear flap to show you how I crochet around the ear flap. One single crochet in each stitch. Okay, perfect. I have single crocheted, one single crochet in each stitch all the way up to this next ear flap. Now for me, I know that I have nine rows in my ear flaps. We established that in the creation of the ear flap. If you went the extra row and made 10 rows for your ear flap, this is where it's gonna be a little different. You're going to wanna make one single crochet in the side of each row. So for me, I know I'm gonna have nine single crochets going up the side if you did 10 rows, you will have 10 single crochets going up the side. Looking at the row, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then here at the tippy tippy top would be nine. Great, so there's my nine single crochets going up my nine rows. Then you're gonna make two more single crochets. One, two in the top point here. And then we're going to single crochet nine single crochets all the way down the other side of the ear flap. One more single crochet in the top. One, next row down. I'm gonna crochet over this tail. So I'm gonna push that tail against the work, 
and just crochet over it. If you wanna leave the tail out and weave it in with a yarn needle or tapestry needle, you can feel free to do that too. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, once you are down to the other side of the ear flap, ready to reconnect with the main body of the work, continue making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Go ahead and continue and I will meet you at ear flap number two to go over ear flap number two with you just to make sure you got it. All right, we just reached ear flap number two. I have a tail here that I'm going to push against the work. Again, I know I have nine rows, so I have nine single crochets to make up the side of this ear flap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the tip top, nine, perfect. Two more single crochets, one, two, and then nine stitches down the bottom, starting in that point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great! Now that you've met up to the other side of your border where you started, just slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet. Grab your scissors, cut off a long enough tail to weave in your ends, yarn over, pull through that loop, pull tight for a slip knot. Brilliant! And there is your border. What you will do now is you'll weave in your ends, cut off any little remaining tails that might still be poking out, clean up your beanie. You can either choose to stop here or you can move on to making the braids. Let's go ahead and move on to making the braids right now. Taking your tape measure or ruler, pair of scissors, and whatever colors you want within the braid section. It can be multiple colors or one solid color. That's all you will need. If you are hoping to work smaller braids, little tiny braids, just enough to tug that beanie on top of head, that would be 12 inch long strips of yarn. If you want your braids a little bit longer, I also like making my strips 18 inches long for a little bit longer braid. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the 12 inch long strips here, making sure that I'm not pulling the yarn tight, it's just resting. That's important because if I were to pull this tight and cut right there, it would end up shrinking to 10 inches and then I'd have left less to work with in my braid. 12 inches right here. For a fuller braid, I will make 12 strips per ear flap. So go ahead, take a second to cut enough strips. You're gonna want a total of 24 strips, 12 on one ear flap, 12 on the other. Perfect, once you have two groups of 12 strips, go ahead and move one group off to the side, grab your beanie and grab your crochet hook. Taking your crochet hook, and coming in from the inside of the beanie out, grabbing all of your cuts, your strips, folding them in half, taking your crochet hook, grabbing the middle of the fold and pulling that through the beanie ear flap, only a little bit, not all the way. Relax the pull, Remove your crochet hook. Take your thumb and your pointer finger. Just like that. Grab the rest of the strips and pull them through the loop. 
slowly pull tight. And now you have a tassel looking creation. Because you started with 12 strips, by folding it in half, you now have 24 little strings hanging out the bottom. We're going to divide these 24 strings into three sections so we can braid them together. There will be eight strips in each section. Now I will grab something heavy to put on my beanie so that way it will stay still while I braid. I don't have anything heavy right now, so I'm just gonna try to loosely braid and keep form for you. Braid as far down as you can to the bottom of the strips. Great, and once you've gone as far down as you can go, I will take all those strips and I will pinch them. Take two fingers, Wrap the braid around my two fingers, go above, and push the strings down between my fingers, coming out the bottom. Grab all those little strings, slowly, slowly guide the knot to the bottom. Also trying to make sure all of my little strings come through we go pull it tight and that is how you form the braid with the small knot on the bottom i will then take my scissors and i will line all these strips up and i'll kind of cut them to even them out really cleaning it up and that is ear flap number one and its braid all you'll have to do is repeat that for the second ear flap and then the ear flaps are done again just having to weave in those ends you can either stop here or you can move on to making a pom-pom or another embellishment on the beanie itself to personalize it however you would like to personalize your beanie i am going to include a link right here at the top of the screen for a pom-pom tutorial showing you how to make a pom-pom with both the pom-pom maker and your hand. That way you have options there. Or you can just leave the beanie alone and be finished. All right, so what do you think? I hope this beanie was easy enough to follow. And what I love about this beanie is it's a very basic beanie. So you can personalize it however you want to personalize it. Changing the colors, adding a flower, doing pom-poms, no pom-poms, braids, no braids. There's so many different ways that you can really just make this your own. If you had a lot of fun making this beanie, you might also really enjoy my other baby beanie videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.